Remington, Super, BB, and Four Shot. Wow, what a unique round. I mean, like I never heard of it. Just look at the back description. Look at that. Isn't that weird? A shot, and then it's four shot. That's really confusing. So, I'm going to try to make it less confusing for you. It's a special purpose, multi-range, duplex, shotgun shell. It, just so you know what it is exactly. 12 gauge. There's, there is um 10 shotgun shells in here, of course. And they're buffered, copper-plated shot. So, it has BB and four shot. So, you could probably shoot geese with this. That's what it looks like. Okay, I'm not going to read all this for you. You can look it up, I guess, or something. Because this is a 12 gauge, 3 inch or 3 lengths. I have no idea what max stands for. Okay, and if anybody knows, please comment that. It's 1 and 7 8 ounce shot. That's a pretty heavy shot. It's BB and 4 shot. That's the shot size. It's a Remington. And look, a long time ago, it looks. At big five ton a long time ago. I know they don't. I'm pretty sure they don't sell this now. This is pretty rare, I'm pretty sure. They might sell it, but I highly, highly doubt it. So this could be worth a lot. And back then it was only like, oh, nine bucks. That's a good price. But now it'd be, it could be worth some, uh, some bigger bills. I'll show them out for a second. Um, I'll show you what they are. And, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. But, uh, these are, these two sizes, and for all ranges, it's supposed to be the piston, there's power piston wads, cushions that shot, load, and prevent it from contacting the inside of the barrel. Now, that's, I have no idea what that means. Okay, and I'm gonna get them out and show you. Wow. Copper plated. Little, little copper around it. Buffered. Cool zip. Sisters in here. High brass. Three inch. Not going to show. See if you can see BB and four shot. Three inch magnum. Duplex. Okay. That's what they look like. I'm just going to go ahead and pull them out for you. Wow, isn't that cool? Pretty cool looking shotgun. It looks like kind of a normal shotgun shell besides its size. It's a three inch, so I'm gonna like put it with. Here's a two and three quarter inch, twelve inch. Kind of a diff distance. This is like your normal two and three quarter inch federal eight shot, just normal shot size, no brass. We can go to different gauges. Here's a a twenty gauge. Um, which is very, besides the color, it's almost, it's high brass. It's almost the exact same as this exact shotgun shell. I actually shot my 20 gauge and compared it to a 12 gauge. They have about the exact same recoil. Well, if you're using this kind of shell, slug, that's a slug. That size, I mean, here's a bigger one. Have okay. a number two buck, small buck. You can get bigger. It's like medium brass. Well, it's high brass for that kind of thing. But it's actually bigger than the 12 gauge. This one kicks harder than, and it's exact same height as this one. The only difference between this, these two, is this one's thicker. 
That's the only thing. It's a, just a little thicker. Give you more perspective. Look, but it's not slug, so I can't really say much. It's not too bad. Just a tiny, tiny bit of difference. And I'd say, if you compare this show to the recoil of this 20 gauge, this 20 gauge might win. Because it's high brass. And it kicks pretty hard. And if you compare this Federal Buck 20 gauge Magnum to this, I bet this one might, this might kick a little bit under or about the same. It doesn't, you wouldn't think that way. It might not be true, but in my gun it does. Sometimes it matters what rounds you're using. And this, this actually is much bigger than the, uh, that one. But, uh, yeah, see. And, uh, this one kicks much harder than a lot of 20, than this one. So. This one kicks pretty hard, though, than this one. But, uh, just some perspective of what you know. So, there you go. Remington Super BB and Fort Shot. Anybody know if they, if they would, like, like it and see how much it's worth if you can search it up for me? And, uh, there you go. Wait, there's one more thing I want to go over. Okay. If you would shoot geese out of this, I would, this is probably what you would, but you'd have to apply a lot of BBs and a lot of different sizes and two different sized BBs out of it. The very small BBs and very, a lot bigger BBs. Okay. This is what you use, uh, but, well, that's a little part of hunting, right? 